video may not be suitable for all viewers. This content is aimed towards adults and adults who are not easily triggered over harmless fiction and knows how to separate harmless fiction from reality. We are not responsible for you getting triggered. You have been warned. Ooh woo! Hey, what's up everyone? It is I, the Video Game Hunter, and welcome to another VG8 Let's Play. And today, I am going back to this wonderful website called itch.io to go and look for another good or decent 2D platformer game. Which, I might have found one, but it looks like it's still in the early works, but I would still like to check it out. And that game is called Space Escape Chibi Edition. And after doing some quick research on this game, it looks like this game is actually a reimagining from his previous game he worked on. But this time, he wants to change things up. Cause it looks like, for what I can tell, in the other game, he actually used a Flash program. But this time, he's gonna use a new program called Godot to make this game. Well, Let's just hope that this program is working out for him, and let's go and give this game a look. Let's check option real quick. Dash, undress, B's to cancel, A's to jump, shoot. Uh, it looks like your typical controls, except for the undress. You don't usually see a undress button for these 2D platformer games, but okay. I wonder what that's for though. What's the main purpose besides, you know, getting naked? Alright, usage. You can't get hurt unless raped. Makes sense. You can't get raped unless tripped or horny. Okay. You can't get, you can't get tripped unless naked. Okay, I won't use the naked button then. You can't get naked unless attacked or undress yourself. Okay. Avoid getting attacked and don't undress myself. Oh my. Oh, look at that cute little Neko cat. Oh, I think that's a Neko cat. Ah, oh, solid movement of animation. Nice. Hmm. Alright, we can go in. Ooh, a blob. Ah! Okay. Oh, wait! Let me look at that little happy blob. Aww. I'm sure he won't do anything awful to me. Aww. Okay. Let's get down and kill it. Oh, that was close. He almost touched me. The last thing I want is get touched by a blob. Alright. Oh, we got another happy blob here. Let's go kill it. And ta-da! No death animations. He says... Dissolves and that's it. Hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. The controls is not half bad. I was able to jump... Um, all those platforms without any issues. Oh, yeah, they got the controls down on this Hold up will increase by 20. Okay um, I'm not gonna lie. I'm really like the running animations they got going on here, man well, They can work on the crawling animation, but the running Running and jogging they got that down so you gotta work on the crawling a bit. This guy really knows how to animate his characters. Bravo. Alright, that was the practice level and now the real game starts. Oh, the save room. Okay. 
Ah, this game is still being worked on, and it does not have a save room. Or does it? No! Oh, wait. Well, it did something, but I don't think it really did anything. I don't really think it saved. Uh, I think that was there just to show you what it looked like if you did save. Oh, well. Let's see how far I can go in this game. Yeah, I actually did take a quick look at this game. Why? It's called the Chibi Edition. And it is because this is not the, the original, uh, the, the original, original game. I didn't know I, that thing hurt me somehow. But yeah, I found out that this game, it's not the original version. This is actually somewhat of a remake of his previous game. Uh, I, I saw a quick look what the, his, uh, the previous game looked like, and it did not look as cartoony as this one does. It actually looked a bit more, I guess, more realistic, if that made more sense. They actually look more human. Well, this one, we got more chi chibi anime style. Which is why I'm actually going to play this version instead, because, you know, I prefer... Uh, anime style games over more human like games. Sorry, if, if I want to look at, at, at. Oh, I don't trust that dog! Down, puppy! Down. Oh my god! I am so censoring that. Oh my gosh, that dog can still hurt me! Oh, great. It's one of those type of games. Bestiality! No, I gotta watch out for that. Anyway, like I was, like like I was saying, I prefer anime-like characters over more human-like because you know, if I want to see a human, I will just walk outside and go to work. There's plenty of human-like people out there, but me, again. I prefer 2D over 3D. And no, a lot of us people don't actually say that as a joke. We're being really honest here. We don't really care about 3D women or 3D people. We just care about more about 2D. Because unlike 2D, 3D people can actually harm you. <laughs> I have yet to see anyone get harmed by a 2D character. I'm still waiting. I I'm legit still waiting for that. People have told me fiction can harm us, but I have never seen anyone get harmed after me playing video games. I'm still waiting for um, people to show me it does. Oh, that dog is so happy, but I'm totally got a sense of his wee wee. Because I don't think YouTube will like that. I mean, I probably could, can show it, but then this video will be age-restricted, and I will get monetized. I mean, if it gets age-restricted, it's age-restricted. I'm fine with that. But I would like to avoid that as much as possible. <clears throat> can I shoot up? Yes, I can. I can sh Yeah, I can shoot down. Nice. But I cannot shoot diagonally. Which is not a big deal. I'm fine with that. But, you know, it'd be kind of cool if you could. Alright. Oh, how is it hurting me? That makes no sense. There was no projectiles coming out of the slime. And yet, somehow, it hurts me. Stupid happy slime. Uh oh, looks like my character is getting pretty horny. He's not taking things seriously anymore. Oh, I pressed down way too long. Yes. <laughs> she is getting pretty horny. Oh. Well, if I press up long enough, does anything else happen? No? It's only when. Oh! Well, the game zoomed in. But that's about it. 
<laughs> it's only when you press down long enough. She actually starts doing stuff. Oh no. Okay. I think that... I mean, I think I played games in the past where you press the button to, you know... To sexualize yourself. But never have I played a game, I think. If I press down for too long. Then she starts doing stuff. Ah. But, of course, she's only doing this because she's very horny at this fine moment. She's still horny. She is still horny. I thought this- I thought the Y button was supposed to get- get me undressed. Oh! Whoa! I pressed the right trigger accidentally and she started you know, rubbing her you-know-whats. Okay. So let's make sure you don't sit down too long or she starts doing this. Oh, that is one horny Neko cat. Oh my- Ah, oh, Slime! What? I- uh, I glitched. Uh-oh, yeah, that, that's, that, that's a glitch. That's a glitch. There we go. What do I do? What do I do? I, I really don't know what to do. But yeah, we found a glitch. I accidentally left the slime thingy while also being invisible. Yeah, there's no way to get out of that situation even faster. Looks like I just have to wait. Well, I found my first real big issue besides this glitch. I don't like the fact I don't like the fact that I have to wait to get out of my wapes situation. All the other games I play, you usually like Tap on the D-pad or tap on the buttons as fast as you can to get out of the situation. But no, I have to sit there and wait to get until it's over. Like this. Finding a glitch is one thing, but man, I don't like the fact I have to sit here and wait until the slime monsters finish. There we go. Wow, that's a pretty long slide that she did. Wow. Body impress. Oh, am I stuck? Uh oh. Yeah, um. Oh no, I am stuck. I found another glitch. Oh no. Oh, I. I look, I. I really do think this game has something going. But I'm going to restart it and see if I can somehow get back where I left off and hopefully get further as soon as I get that little heart thing I need. Alright, will we start the game? Alright, we are now back at the very beginning of the game because as you can tell or saw, I got stuck. I got stuck as soon as I got to that heart that I need when I got my power slide and... That power slide made me get stuck in that little small area. Oh, that really truly sucked. I think that was I think that was like one more power up we need to get even further in the game, but still. But no biggie. At least she's not horny anymore. Okay, let's try this again. Now, remember, I can't save in this game, so if I get stuck in the glitch... Um... I'm going to have to start this whole thing all over again. And yeah, I'm stuck again. Oh, wait, wait! I was able to move. There we go, yeah! Yeah, we, we, I fell for a glitch again, but I managed to get out this time. Good, good. It still glitched up, but it wasn't as bad as last time. Oh, thank God. I gotta let the developer know, saying, Hey, buddy. 
please, for the love of God, put the save features on. Oh! That's new. Has that bar always been there? No, no, I'm just confused. <laughs> so there was a... A horny bar there that allowed me to get out of the situation by pressing left to right on the D-pad. Okay, so... It seems like this game still has lots of things that need to be worked on. And a doggy. It was bound to happen. The dog finally got me and I... Can't believe I had to go witness that again. This is the third Let's Play game that I did where I had to witness my character get banged by a dog. If this was an anthropomorphic character that was human-like, I would have zero issues. But the fact that it's in your typical dog form, it just makes things weird. I don't want to get horny. Oh, I can jump really high in water. How very opposite. Usually it's supposed to make me a bit a bit slow when I jump. But no, apparently when I jump in water, I go very high up. Maybe it's maybe it's space water. That's what makes me able to jump high. It's space water. Oh, it could be simply that she is actually swimming upwards. Makes sense. Oh, now I'm completely naked. That's going to make this video editing us so much harder now. Ah. Now I gotta find my way to get clothes back on. Ugh. Well, like she got her jacket back on, but I still need her black suit. And there you have it, folks. That was Space Escape Chibi Edition. And to give you guys my final thoughts, well... Um, this game definitely needs some work. And yes, in the beginning of this video, I did in fact said um, this game is still in the early stages. And some of the bugs that we found during this Let's Play, um, the game developers actually already knows about those things. I have no clue how I missed this, but if you go to the game page, he actually lists out some of the known issues that some people are having problems with. The only thing he hasn't listed that we found during this let's play is when the slime monster has captured us and we somehow, you know, jumped out of the character's body and somehow started shooting lasers over the place. I have no clue what's the best way to describe that situation, but I'm going to try my best to leave a comment on his um, game page and let him know about this little weird glitch that we found. But, other than that, um, I can't really recommend the game right now, but once he smoothed out all the problems and gets the game to the finished stage, then I am most likely probably will recommend this game. But until that, I wish the game developer the best of luck, and that's all I gotta say. So, this is the Video Game Hunter, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, goodbye.